When Barry Bonds leads Sports Center, there's usually one reason why, but Friday in Pittsburgh, there were two. Barry Bonds came in hitting 192, but he's hit 11 homers in Pittsburgh, the city in which he left. There's a single that drove in Omar Vizquel. Giants on the board, they scored five in the first off Zach Duke. Top of the second, Giants a 5-2 Bonds. Inside and out. Just made it inside the right field foul pole for the home run number 736 for Bonds. Giants of 7-2. Take a look at this swing. Turning, just turning on that inside pitch and hammering it. Top of the fourth, Sean Chacon. Bonds bashes it. Number 737 of his career. Bonds three for three with four RBIs in this one. He left the game in the fourth. 96 of his 737 homers have been hit in the city of Pittsburgh. So Bonds hit number 736 and 737. His 70th career multi-home run game. Only Babe Ruth had more multi-home run games with 72. And Barry needs 19 homers to pass Hank Aaron. This was Barry's first against Zach Duke, the 436th different pitcher he has homered against. Baseball, the Devil Rays have lost their last 10 games at the Metrodome. On the mound from Minnesota, Johan Santana. Check this out. Santana dominant at home. 17-0 in his last 24 home starts dominant. Twins 24-0 in that span. Last home loss way back August 1st, 2005. To the game. Top of the third. Twins up 1-0. Santana school in Rocco Baldelli. Santana struck out the side to the fifth. Tie game, men on second and third, B.J. Upton, Upton the chopper, Santana, wow, Akinori Iwamura scores on that, yeah, well, whatever, Santana, seven innings, four and runs, 10 Ks, 3-1 Tampa, top of the sixth, Paul Crawford, and Josh Raby's going to misplay this thing, and Crawford is going to take advantage big time for an inside the park homer, that would be Homer without the New York accent, Tampa Bay leads the majors with 16 homers, and that one counts, by the way, Crawford for making up for those two boo-boos he made in Thursday night's loss. He deserves something good for him. Santana gets his first home loss since August of 05. Pull them off, baby. So the Twins lose for just the first time in the last 25 home games started by Santana. As Holiday, Jeremy Bonderman feeling the power of the Stanley Cup playoffs in the heart of hockey, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Bottom of the first, and whoops, Alex Rios. First pitch of the, that makes it at the bottom of the first. Rios takes Bonderman out. Blue Jays jump to a 1-0 lead. Top of the second. There's the horse, Halliday, but here, the breaking ball taken the other way by Maglio Ordonia. So a couple of solo homers. It's a 1-1 game. From there, all pitching. So we go to the ninth. Bottom nine. Bonderman still in there. Breaks on. A seed to first, but you see Sean Casey playing on the line late in the game, so he gets it. Bonderman, nine innings, one earned, four Ks. But Halliday did one better. He's still pitching in the 10th. Craig Monroe there. Yeah, he goes all 10. First pitcher in two seasons to do that. We'll tell you the last dude in a second. Meanwhile, bottom 10, bases loaded, nobody out. Fernando Rodney in, and there's Rios. He hit the homer in the bottom of the first to start the scoring for Toronto, and he ends the game with a walk-off sacrifice fly. 10 inning, complete game for Halliday. Second time in his career he's done that. Also did it, as you see on your TV set in 03. The last Royals walk going for his 100th career win in Philadelphia, but down 3 0. Needs some offensive help. That's why they signed Carlos Lee to that six year, $100 million deal. But Lee said, quote, at the beginning of the season, I was trying to do too much because of the contract. That's a home run. Astros down 3 1. Still down 3 1. Top of three. Bases loaded for Lee. That's a grand slam. Second homer of the game, both off Brett Myers, who said, I feel like I lost that Rottweiler aggression. Mm. Astros lead 5 to 3. Key moment of the game here. Phillies are down eight to six. First and second, nobody out. You don't need to send the runner here, but the Phillies do, and Luke Scott makes them pay. He throws out Shane Victorino. Great job, Brad Ausmus. He holds on. Astros out of the jam, and then Lee. Two words, hat trick. First three home run game of his career. Six RBIs in all. Craig Biggio had a hit. He's 61 hits from 3,000. Phillies are two and eight. So Oswalt gets his 100th win. Just the fifth pitcher since 1990 to get to 100 wins with fewer than 50 losses. Only New the Indians had to go to Milwaukee for a few games. Now they're back in Cleveland. And hello, Fausto Carmona. You know, he won his first start 0-10 since. And 
Yeah, the White Sox were licking their chops. Top of the fourth, Juan Uribe takes Carmona deep, three-run homer. White Sox up four to one beyond Javier Vasquez. Speaking of, Vasquez, who gets Travis Hafner swinging. Vasquez five and a third, two earned, seven Ks. Jermaine Dye, deep and gone. Carmona, 4.1 innings, six earned runs. So since he won his first big league start, 0 and 11. And Casey Blake had a chance. Bottom nine, tying run. However, pops up AJ Brzezinski. Bobby Jenks gets his third save of the year. So the White Sox win. Cubs Wrigley Field. Carlos Zambrano, things began well for him. Bottom of the fourth, his team already up 3-0. And Zambrano adds to his and his team's lead. Opposite field, home run for the pitcher. First this season, Cubs up 4-0. So at this point, you think this is just about a lock for Zambrano. Top of the fifth. However, he gets himself into trouble. Adam Dunn singles. Brandon Phillips scores. Reds now down 5-3. Next batter, Ken Griffey Jr. This is a pretty good pitch from Zambrano. But watch Griffey track that ball really well. Just pops it into right field. Reds down 5-4, and suddenly Zambrano, the ace of the Cubs staff, he gets pulled with a one-run lead. Base loaded, nobody out. Then, oh, bad omen. Will Omen walks in a run, ties it at five. Oh, boy. Another run comes in. Six runs in the fifth. Lou Pinella soundbite alert coming up. Get ready for that. I'm ready. Coming up, bottom nine, two outs. Cliff Floyd. No. Josh Hamilton. In left, Hamilton. game over. So the Cubs lose a game they perhaps should have won. A. Lou Pinella. You got a five nothing lead with the eighth and ninth hitters coming up. And you feel pretty good about that inning. And all of a sudden it turns into a, a, a six run inning. What do I do? I just pitch them when it's his turn again. What else can I do? And then I bring in a reliever that's throwing 30, 40 foot curveballs. What's not working overall now? What the hell do you think isn't working? You see the damn game? Sorry, Skip. The Cubs got off to a decent start this season. They won three of their first five, outscoring opponents by a run per. But the last four games have been a different story. Chicago has lost four straight, allowing six runs per game and scoring just three and a half. The Nationals coming to Shea Stadium to face the Mets on the mound for New York. Mike Pelfrey making his first start of this season. Top of the second, bags full, nobody out. Nationals down one nothing. Brian Schneider, he grounds into a double play. Dimitri Young would score, and this would mark the first time the Nationals have scored a run in one of the first three innings of the game all season long. Congratulations. <laughs> the six one on two out Mets down two one not anymore Carlos Delgado opposite way Delgado one for four with that RBI as Jose Reyes comes home to score he scored twice he also stole a base tie game at two bottom seven two on two out same score 48 year old Julio Franco dug deep up the middle David Wright comes in to score right was two for three Mets go on to win three to two Wagner with a third save who have the power the bank of Yankees in Oakland, Justin Dukeshur in the game in relief for the A's. Top eight, bases loaded, one out, tied at four. Some crazy stuff. Doug Minkiewicz. Dukeshur can't Whoa. make the catch. Alex Rodriguez held a third, and Dukeshur will make the throw from his butt. Two outs, bags still loaded. Next batter, Melky Cabrera. On the ground, throw to first for the out. Dukeshur gets out of the jam. We're still tied to the 10th. Top of the 10th, run on second, two out. Menkevich, big spot, pops it up, foul territory. Eric Chavez can't make the catch with the glove, but gets it barehanded. Very nice. Yeah. Great third base. We stay tough. Old lover. Bottom 11, bags full, one out. Brian Bruni, Bobby Kelty. Menkevich stops it, throws home from his knees. Travis Bucks comes in to score. Tough one for Menkevich. A's win 5-4 to four in 11. Tough highlight. Mm, to say the least. All right. All right, is this serious stuff now? It's top plays. Focus. Always focus for top plays. Highlight at time. Number will start at 10. Padres, Dodgers. Rafael Furcal, diving play. And then the out at first. Dodgers win 9-1. to one. You can see this over and over again. All right, well done. Thank you. 
All right, number nine. Oh, you mean him, not me? Oh. Whatever you okay. want. Okay. You are in the television <laughs> in the cone. Look at Ronnie Belliard start the 4-6-3 double play. However, yes. the Nats, oh, it's going to be a long year. Mets win 3-2. Number eight, Bobcats Bulls. Let's listen. Oh, 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 my goodness. Wow. Wow. Stop it. Stop it, Tyrus. Don't hit him like that. Never stop, Tyrus. Bulls win 100 to 81. Big Macs for everyone. They were very excited. Yeah, they got 100 points. Yeah. All the fans got free Big Macs. I heard that. Uh, free apple pies in Denver. Chris Paul, Stoink, and in. But the Hornets lost to Denver 107 105. It's all about six. Astros, Phil's, Ryan Howard. That'll work. Luke Scott with the hose to the plate and gets Shane Victorino. Astros win it 9 to 6. Yeah. Carlos Lee at three home runs. But, you know, good defense is also needed. You mean he's not in top I'm place? Analysis to the top place. Why should he be in top place? Oh, hockey. <laughs> Number five, Mike Badano. Backhanded saucer pass to Joe Lundquist. Who is the brother of? Ranger goalie Henrik Lundquist. Rangers play Saturday against the Thrashers. Big one. But the Stars get a great game two win in Vancouver. Number four, Devil Rays against the Twins. Delman Young, the dribbler, Luis Castillo. Oh, wow. Pretty glove flip play. Can I see that again? Okay. Thank you. Tampa Bay finally wins at the Metrodome. Number three, shortstop on shortstop crime. Haley Ramirez, Marlon shortstop, robbed by Edgar Renteria. Now, Ramirez has a dicey hand. You see he's running gingerly. Otherwise, he would have beaten this out if he was healthy. But but still a great player. Thank you. I'm not going to hate All him. All right. He's got enough problems. His team lost. Marlon's won. Number two, Yankees A's top ten, Doug Mankiewicz. Oh. It's all about Mr. Eric Schaub. Show it to me again. Like he planned it this way. Here it is, Butchie. That's a better angle. That's impressive. And Linda, love is like a rock. <laughs> Bond. Bond drives one down the right field line, headed into the bleachers. It is out of here. He homered earlier in the second inning. Now he swings and drives one towards right center field. Nady going back. Nady looks up. It's gone. Vanella had his post-game mini blow-up televised for all of his players to see. Friday night. Let's see if it had the desired effect. Cubs home to the Reds. Alfonso Soriano. Oh, look at Brendan Phillips. Bare hand turn. 6-4-3. Soriano's on base percentage, 283. Not what they paid 136 mil for. Rich Hill was real good on the mound. Reds had six hits in this game, all singles. Look at this suicide squeeze attempt. Cesar's tourist. Beautiful play. Cliff Floyd scores 2-0, and then Derek Lee off to a fast start this year, hitting 390, has five doubles, RBIs 6, 7, and 8 on the year for Lee, and finally the Cubs get their first Wrigley win. Lou, uh, beware reporters, he'll be screaming more at you in the future. <laughs> New out of St. Louis for the Brewers and the Cardinals. Jeff Supon back in town Friday night. Got his championship ring from his former team. Won the World Series with the Cardinals, of course, last year. Bottom first. Supon facing Albert Pujols with a man on. And that ball is well hit. Pujols went down and got it, but stays in the park, and it's just a long out. Bottom four. Pujols second at bat. He's got a man on again. First pitch just misses the fastball. Second pitch. Can't get around on it. Fouled off again. Pulls with a full count now. Supon comes inside and gets it. Suhan. Supon rather six hits, two runs, six and a third. Pulls over four pitch. in the ball game. Bottom Bases seven. Cardinals loaded. down one. Bases loaded. Two one, two outs for pitch. Chris Duncan. Into foul territory. Greg Aquino out of the jam. And the Brewers going to win it. Three two as Supon beats his old team. Almost rhymes. Bottom six. Royals up four to two. And this is where it all goes terribly wrong. Oh, Dallas Perez will walk. Aubrey Huff, first and second, nobody out, and Perez is done. But of course, those are his runners on the base. Here comes Joe Peralta, Joel to Kevin Millar. This should be fine. Shallow center, and oh boy, what are we doing? David DeJesus, Tony Pena. It was almost infield fly roll, but I guess the umpire said it was a bit too deep. All right, next batter, Chris Gomez, bases loaded. Grand slam. Second career grand slam for Gomez, the other off of Kurt Schilling. Oh, Dallas Perez, what do you think about that? <laughs> Orioles win six. Right in the Yankees. Having some 
Right. Issues with the pitching staff again. Daryl Rasner, spot started for Carl Pavano. Bottom first runner on second for Mike Piazza. Derek Jeter can't handle it. His fourth error of the year and would make another one later in the game. The Yankees with four errors in the game. Later in the inning, A's up 2 0. Travis Buck. Todd Walker will score, but Melky Cabrera comes home. Will Nieves, nice tag on Bobby Crosby. That ends the inning, but the A's up 3 0 after one. Top five. Here's A Rod. And there it goes off Joe Bland, number seven on the year for A-Rod. And the Yanks down just three to one. And his hot April continues. Top seven, Yanks down 3-2. Jorge Posada pinch hitting. Robinson Cano on first. They had the hit and run on. So Cano scores. Game tied at three. And they will go to extras. Top ten. Still tied at three. Bases loaded. Here's A-Rod again. Two outs facing Houston Street. Remember the grand slam the other day, but not this time. Bobby Crosby will settle under that one, and the A's get out of the inning. Bottom 11, still tied at three, seventh Yankee pitcher of the game, Mariano Rivera, runner on first and one out. Facing Jason Kendall, and that's the Jeter we've come to expect. Rivera would pitch only the 11. Top 13 now, Jason Giambi facing Lenny DiNardo. Advantage Giambi. Deep and gone. Go ahead, home run. Second of the year for Giambi. Yanks take the 4 3 lead and they make it stick. To take on the quick starting Diamondbacks. Bottom eight. Diamondbacks trailing 4 3. That's Miguel Montero. And that's a home run. Off the Troy Hawkins. He ties the game at four. First major league homer for Montero. Later in the eighth, Scott Hairston up. Now he's aboard. Next batter is Stephen Drew, and now he's aboard. Next batter is Alberto Cayaspo, and he walks. Base is loaded. Next batter is Orlando Hudson. Fly ball. Will he get the run home? Willie Tavares coming home, but Harrison beats the throw. He scores. Diamondbacks up 5-4. Top nine. Same score. Two men on. Jose Valverde gets John Mabry. That's not going to hurt. Diamondbacks win at 5-4. Fifth save of the season for Valverde and six chances. The D-back now eight and four on the season. AJ Burnett against Chad Durbin. Jim Leland. The Tigers looking to bounce back after Roy Halliday went 10 strong and beat them on Friday. All right, bottom eight. Bad news for the Tigers. Good news for the Blue Jays. Lau Overbay, home run. Toronto leads. That's a lock, right? Because here comes BJ Ryan. He's never blown a save in his career in April. 3-2 pitch. Oh, with one out, he walks Gary Sheffield. He's missing his spots. Location, location, location. Another 3-2 pitch. He walked 20 batters last year in 72 and a third. This year, now four walks in four innings. He's walked the bases loaded. 0-2, though, on Marcus Timms. Pretty good pitch. He breaks his bat, but it drops in. Sheffield or Jones' score. Ryan's ERA is now 12.46 this year. The Blue Jays fall to six and five. So the Red Sox are in first in the AL. In the Phillies looking to get going against the Astros. Bottom of the first, two outs. Utley, that'll get going. Solo shot off Woody Williams. Phillies go up one nothing. Utley second of the season. Phillies looking for their first win at home. Fourth inning. Jimmy Rollins. Jimmy Rollins leads the National League with five home runs. All five eight, 170 pounds of him. Update, he's got six home runs now. Two run shot way out of there. Rollins says the difference is maturity. He says it's that simple. That's creating all the power for him. Bottom of the six, tie score, two outs. Utley, that's going to be trouble. Jason Worth coming around to score. Phillies go up 6-5. They're going to win an 8-5. The bullpen didn't let Cole Hamels down this time around. Any back here, though, Stan? <laughs> uh, top plays, here we go. Number 10, Fenway Park. Uh, we've had two is Tauruses in this show. We saw Cesar lay down a beautiful suicide squeeze bunt. And my Sierra, the Angels. Oh, look at that beautiful defensive play helping out Chris Bootcheck. Tampa Bay Storm, Orlando Predators, Arena Football at number nine. Lawrence Samuels fumbles. Marlon Moye Morris look what I found. And while the other guys are standing around, he's boogieing. All the way to the house for the touchdown, and the Predators win it 61-37. All right, driver eight, take a break. Hawks, Cavs, LeBron, and his team did not fall for the Atlanta booby trap. Nice double pump jam. Cavaliers win 110-76. They want that two seed. Number seven, Astros and Phillies. Aaron Rowan says, give me that. Full extension for Rowan. 
The Phillies finally get a win at home. They take this one 8-5 to five over Houston. I like gold. The look of it, the smell of it, the taste of it, the texture. Former gold lover Mike Lowell robs Jose Molina, Red Sox, and Kurt Schilling win eight love snowman time. Guy who hit the grand slam for the Orioles to win. What was his name? Uh, Chris Gomez. This is Casey Wizards in D.C. United. This is Chris Gomez, a different one. Off the free kick for the goal. So a big day for Gomez is in the Washington metropolitan area, but the D.C. United go down 4-2. And they beat KC. Yeah. And the Orioles beat KC. Wow. Isles, Sabres, number four, Bobby Orr. Rick DiPietro grew up in the Boston area. Bobby Orr played for Boston, and the Islanders win. Number three, Devil Rays and Twins. Delvin Young with a blooper. Alexi Casilla makes the grab. And then... An acrobatic move there. Very nice. The no look catch. Uh, Stan, what the hockey you can, player? I mean, you could hurt yourself. Yeah. You know what hockey players do in the summer? What do they do? They, they play they lacrosse. Play charity golf tournament. They play lacrosse. It's oh, they don't. Not NHL players, but younger dudes. Duke, Virginia, Brad Ross. What a move behind the head. Blue Devils win seven to six. Lax is huge in Canada and in the United States. And number one. Speaking of hockey fans. Jerry Kelly, in case you want to try this. Four iron from 200 yards away. Mm. Think he had the right club. Oh, that's an Ed Jockerman. A one. Hole in one.